Hello, it is your host, Splice37, and we are back at it again with a little bit more Sly Cooper. The general reception for this game has been going very well, so I appreciate everyone who's been supporting my channel recently and the games that I've been playing. So, I'm going to take care of some unfinished business because we actually had to go back to one of the levels we previously beaten because we need to get the clues for the freaking safe. Now, I believe the safe is this way at the end of the mission. So I'm going to just cut this out here and then we can continue on with our little story mission, okay? So, uh, I'll be back. Alright, here we go. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. Oh, you lucky sly. This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. It's actually very convenient because I've noticed in the last few episodes that I've actually been straight up missing coins. So, all right, cool. All right, so now we're back at the hideout. Sorry, I had to slip to that little bit there, but you know, I did say that we'd get all the clues in this. So, let's start this next mission. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. He was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Well, of the story? Don't bully kids. All right, here we are. Right at the gates to Mesa City. Back at it again. It's been a long time since I've been here, but I think I know this place like the back of my hand. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land up safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. So yeah. You can basically act like a little Spider-Man real quick. <laughs> and we can like spin on this really fast and something we can do. Anyway, here's our new style of guard. <laughs> Just pulls up the Naki Kong as we fall down. Yeah. As usual, we're fighting our constant lag because, you know, I play with PS now and we're <laughs> constantly going to go into this. Anyway. So the support this series has been getting so far, I've actually been very pleased with. You know, this is an old game, so, you know, it's nice to see all my friends, you know, actually watching me enjoy this game and enjoying it along with me. So, uh, 
please like and share these videos because they mean a lot to me. And it would mean a lot to me as well if you guys, you know, showed your support towards them. A little bit of clue hunting, you know, typical. These types of, like, guards are kind of interesting. So, it's literally just a dog stuck to a pole. And she just she spits on you. Anyway. Since every guard in this game is a one-shot, you know, it's not terribly hard to work your way around things. Alright. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. <laughs> You'd think that this might actually fall off, but it, it doesn't. Alright, more clues. Oh god. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Game is struggling a little bit. Okay. Doesn't like that very much. And this guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's not fun either. The guards in this area are actually, like, probably the most fun to take out, in my opinion. I just have a lot of fun in these ones. Like, this guy, he's pretty interesting too. Those cards at you. A simple jump and a nice thwack with your cane will get him out of here. As you can tell, I've played this mission a few times. Let's try and uh, use the dive ability to take out one of these guys. Ooh, you got me. That was fun. Alright. Now I can't take out that fence. Alright. Moving on. And out here is the safe right there <laughs> so we'll be going there in a minute these guys think they're slick We're already at 33 out of 40 clues so things are going well just gotta get through the rest of this level real quick. <laughs> Casually just gonna jump over this man, take him out real quick. Get these coins, get these clues. Get everything we need. How many more we have left? So we only have a few left, so. Okay, we're at 39 out of 40 clues, which means we missed literally one in the entire level. Well, we have to backtrack a little bit anyway, so maybe we'll find it on the way back. It's a lot quieter when there's not, like, you know, the yellow lights. And there's our final clue. Hidden right behind this floating in midair. It's a nice location for a safe. patented explosive hat technique use the triangle button to toss your cap then use the triangle button again to detonate it better back off to a safe distance first <laughs> i've actually only used this a little bit like the, it's it really is just a mine it's kind of funny like the way your hat is just straight explosive so, I'm, I have it activated right now, so I just have it here, he tosses it down, and pulls a new hat out of his freaking backpack. And then we detonate it, and it goes boom, yeah, and it takes out guards. That's, that's literally it. Anyway, I'll uh, meet you when we get the treasure key. And 
And now we use that exact same key to unlock this door. Same as the very first episode we had of this. Check this place out. Alright. It's quite large. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. So we have three options here. We have a normal mission where we just casually go through the level and explore things like that. And then we have a racing mission where we get to play as Murray and drive the van around. Or we get to go over here and man a gun and protect Murray. Which I think we're going to do this one first because we've already kind of done a normal mission today in this episode just by like coming our, our way here so we'll just have to go over here and do this little Murray's Big Gamble. Alright. This is just a typical turret mission. It's pretty fun. But the music's hilarious. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. This mission helps when you've done it a few times. Anyway, start the mission by shooting that door open, and then we take him out. It's nice that uh, Murray's actually wearing the, like, he's actually wearing the horseshoes. So if he actually got hit by these guards, or if I shot him for some reason, he'll actually be okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Murray's kind of a little, you know, bumbling buffoon in this game, but it's still pretty fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on. Gotta learn how to aim. We got another up there one? Right there? Uh-oh. Got him. Nice. He's gonna walk by this door, and then someone has to come around the corner. There he is. Shucks. Move it, Murray! Okay, got the guy out of the way. Oh, I killed him. Never mind. I, I thought he survived. Never mind. I guess if I shoot him, he's dead. Time to <laughs> move, Whoops. No. But yeah. A after a while, you really get the pattern down and you do, you do pretty well. Okay, I got him out of the way. Got him out of the way. Next. Alright, move our way over here. Wait, if I can... Well, that works. I just blew up that ahead of time. That works. Yeah, just do that. Oh, forgot about that guy. And this guy here. Come on, come on. Move our way ahead. And spam the fire button. Go, go, go. Keep forgetting this is the wrong area. <laughs> Wait for him to walk by. Go. Got him. Got him. Got him. And then I go walks, ar walks around. Wait for it. Wait. That's a bait. Yeah. And this guy's here. Yep. Okay. He's gonna run around here, and he'll wave to us as he goes up this crane. <laughs> oh, Murray. Alright, where's he at? There he is. Yeah, now we're gonna have these guards, which are pretty scary, they're pretty fast. And this guy runs out of nowhere, right? Yep, that one. Mm -hmm. Any more? There! Okay. Okay, I think that's the last one. Nice, we did it. How graceful. <laughs> nice way to boost up your courage, Murray. <laughs> like, Murray compared to, like, Slide 2 and Slide 3, Murray is just night and day difference. He's He's so much more fun when you can actually play as him, but I still respect like how he is in this game. It's so funny. <laughs> We're doing pretty well on time, so uh, let's do this normal mission and uh, maybe if we still have time we'll do the, the, the short race, but this mission's pretty long, so depending on how long we stay here, we'll depend on <laughs> if we can fit it all into one episode. 
If anything, I'll just cut it and like put it in the next episode anyway. This is probably my favorite like mission in the entire game. Nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. This was the first instance of guards actually like, you know, checking out spots when they heard their comrades. This was when you'd actually use the, the mind technique or whatever. Oh, I don't see me. Oh, that was close. So yeah, you'd actually this is actually a good time to use your mind for your hat, you know? Uh oh. Okay. So I believe one of them's gonna come this way. So we're just gonna do this. Yep, let him come this way. And then blow him up. Sneak attack. Okay, so this is, the, this is the guard that controls this area. The best way to get around him is just let him do his thing, walk around right to him, and smack him in the face. This mission is actually a good way of getting a lot of money, in fact. You know, the more, the more money you get, the more lives you can get and stuff like that. So... Always take advantage of the breakable vending machines and stuff such like that. Now, it's funny because we actually have to go down there later. We can't just jump off now. Like it's not it won't let us. It actually like hurt me to do that. Uh oh. Got alarms going off because I'm such a klutz. Walk around here. Got this out of the way. Stuff like that. Alright, so these guards doing their little sneaky business. Several days later. Alright, take two because my freaking game just crashed. It's also two days later because, well, my internet decided to also not work. So, here we are. Welcome back. Frick. Awesome. That worked out pretty well. And now we can just sit here and destroy these real quick. <clears throat> I apologize if I seem a, a little bit different. I'm still kind of angry that my internet decided to not work the last two days. But, eh, for you guys it was only a few seconds, so... Welcome back. <laughs> Alright, this guy is pretty interesting. Just gonna kind of spin around a little bit. Coming in hot. Oh, what the, What? Okay. That... I was trying to like, you know, come straight down here and kill him, but it, it just didn't work. He just, he just didn't like that. I gotta climb up this and then we can jump on the hook here. <clears throat> It'll stop the machine and gain a ton of coins. There we go. Replaced my horseshoe there. As you can see, there are clues up here. So let's just jump our way up here and grab these real quick. You can just you can see how freaking small Mugshot's legs are. Take out his legs. This guy's back. Alright. Now, this is the part where I don't really understand what's going on here. Like, how was he still making money if, like, everyone in Mesa City decided to leave because he scared him off? Like... He's not making money from the roulette wheels, because considering they're just spinning here and no one's gambling. The place is also flooded. Like, it just raises a bunch of questions of, like, <clears throat> how is this man even, like, rich? Sure, he's stolen a lot of stuff, but it just doesn't add up. And that's where things get a little more interesting. You have to time your jumps just right to get around these, but they, you know, they're not too terribly hard. Oh, well. Jump across some more chandeliers, no problem. This guy. Let him do his little thing. And we just sneak our way up to him. Now let's try to make these a little bit harder. I said try. <laughs> now we have them going agonizingly slow, so just gotta work our way backwards on these. That's 
37 out of 40, huh? Oh, 38 and 39. There's 40. How convenient. Now this one's kind of fun, because you can literally just speed run levels now. We're just now able to just straight up go through here, climb up this, just gotta keep holding on the triangle button while we do this. I actually almost made it first try Bentley, so whatever. Okay, third time's the charm. There we go. Oh, now we, now we make it harder. Okay. One more time. And there's our key. See, not a terrible mission, but one of my more favorite ones. Alright. We only need three, I assume? Yep, we only needed three. Awesome. And we just hit this real quick. Crashes right into the building. And we get all of these coins. Now you may enter the casino. An entire new level. More guys to fight. Alright, well, with that, we now have our next game plan. We need to get, we're going to need to finish the rest of these keys off and open our way into Mugshot's safe house and take him out. So, with that being said, this has been a long enough video, so I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like and support my channel. Anyways, I'm Splice87, your host. Bye.